the tube became the prototype for subways all over the world. Today, it carries more passengers than the entire British rail network. It's bursting at the seams. So now, engineers are building a massive new metro line that stretches all the way across London and beyond. Construction sites are popping up all over the city to build nine brand new underground stations and 26 miles of tunnels. With 4,000 workers, it's the biggest engineering project in Europe, called Crossrail. And this is one of the machines that will do the digging, a souped up great head shield, longer than a football field. This is Ada. This is a tunnel boring machine. That's getting ready to be launched. They'll be working away on the ground and people above probably won't know what's happening. Pushing this monster through the crowded ground under London will be a challenge. We've got a lot of existing tunnels under London that we've got to go over or under. London Underground, Docklands Light Railway. There are sewers, there are building foundations. And so it would be like a snake as we go under London. Here we go. A second machine has already started digging. Here we are at the heart of the tunnel boring machine. This is the first sight we get of the London clay coming out from the cutter head. This is raw London clay. And you can see here the rate at which the clay comes up from the cutter head and drops down onto this conveyor. That translates to advancing the machine forward 60 millimeters a minute. As the cutter head advances, Workers line the exposed walls behind it with concrete panels, weighing nearly four tons each. Here you can see the director bringing the segments into position now. There are seven segments in total, with a key to lock the ring into its final position. So there'll be some 250,000 of these segments produced on Crossrail. Been so long preparing for this moment. Finally, to be doing this is, is just truly fantastic.